Chef Furman, would you like to talk about your expertise in culinary arts for starting this restaurant? Uh, sure. Well, um, I graduated from the Culinaria de Mexico from Puebla. Uh, that was my first uh, school I was at. And then afterwards, I started working in different hotels, restaurants, and ended up at the Fairmont over in San Francisco, where I started studying my master's in, at the California Culinary Academy. Uh, that was where basically I learned almost everything else from the kitchen. I learned more uh, working in the kitchens than actually. And is it all local food? Uh, every kind of food. I don't. I look at some. I look at some dishes, and I I know I can mix and match some stuff with uh, any other cuisine that there is. Uh, like right here, we have local produce, but I mix it with Asian. Uh, Mediterranean, French, Mexican, every type of cuisine. I, I like the flavors, the natural flavors in everything. Uh, especially, I like to I like to play around with the patron's palate because everybody likes uh, thinks actually uh, about something fresh, like fish, like shellfish. Everything and they know it's fresh, but they don't they don't know that they can actually feel a smokiness flavor like they were they were actually cooked, but they're actually not. So that's what I try to do here. I try to play around with your palate so they can do it a lot better. Um, have a better culinary experience here. This restaurant has only been open for a couple of weeks. Can you explain the hours? We're opening at 6 o'clock in the afternoon until midnight. Uh, sometimes we might, we might start getting stuff earlier. It just depends on the weather, how it's changing. I don't want my patients to actually eat and move away at the same time. No, we enjoy food. Yeah. The people who come here are foodies. Yeah, precisely. And you take credit cards? Uh, yes, we do. And you're open every day? And we're open every day. Every day. And every day. and you'll stay late if you have a late group? Yes. Even if we have someone, uh, a table of 10 or 20 or even two people or one person come in at 11.30 or 11.45, they can stay here until they're finished. I'm not going to rush you. I was looking at your menu and I think your prices are really wonderful. What would you say would be an average dinner for two with wine? An average dinner for two here with wine around maybe fifty to sixty dollars I think. And that's going throughout the whole menu. I mean the five course or six course menu. So And people can pay either pesos or yeah, dollars. They can pay pesos or in dollars. Well, I thought it was really nice because I went to the bank and got changed for the ladies who had their lunch here today with you, and it was a wonderful lunch. Thank you very much. Everything went really well. Timing, service, um, presentation, taste, it was all perfect, perfect, perfect. But you had a really good exchange rate. I was at the bank and it was 13 something and high 12s and you gave 13. And that's very good. Well, thank you for a wonderful afternoon. We're at Casablanca in the Rosarita Beach Hotel, and this is Bo, the designer of this beautiful restaurant. And I'm gonna let her explain her concept for starting this restaurant and designing it, and why she did it. Well, it started in, uh, it started in, and I'm sorry about my voice, it started in February where my husband wanted to take me to a romantic restaurant in Rosarito. And to tell the truth, I could not think of one that's oceanfront, cool atmosphere, just sexy and chic. So when I noticed this area right here in Los Rio Beach Hotel, I decided to ask you know, Torres what I to do with it. And we did have a few meetings and few events, but I thought this is the best spot to have a chic restaurant. 
So that's where it started. And the next thing I know, I'm designing uh, Casablanca. And if you notice, it's all white and it's very organic and very chic. And I try to use as many green items as I could, recycled branches, recycled driftwood, there's seashells throughout. So it's been a fun experience and people like it and enjoy it, so that's all that matters. And you have a couple of other projects in this hotel as well going on right now. Yes, I do have, um, I'm redoing the lobby, so it feels more like a lounge. And also we're working on tequilas in the tapa lounge here in a hotel called Adobe. And that's also cool because it's, it's a place to learn about tequila. Um, I don't know even about tequila, and I think a lot of people here in Rosarito, Americans don't know much about it. They know they like it, but they don't know much about it. So I'm hoping that they'll have sommeliers and they can tell us the difference between different brands and what to look for, and also how to mix it and um, how to create drinks. So it's, it's, a, it's a cool atmosphere. I think you're gonna have live music too. So I'm looking forward to that. And Bob, besides being very successful, having a wonderful family, um, you give back to the community. Could you explain a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I feel it's, it's my job to do that. I mean, Rosarito has brought me so much joy and uh, my kids love it here. And I just can't, I can't live in an environment that's giving me so much and I'm not giving it anything back. So I took on the project of the Boys and Girls Club because I feel that's the future um, that will make a huge difference in Rosarito. These kids are young, and, uh, 10 years old, 11 years old, and less than a decade they become men and women. And if we don't give them the tools to, to uh, create and, and play and learn, then, then uh, it, it would not be a good, a good uh, result. So we opened it and it's successful so far. We had almost 100 kids this year that already had their summer camp. We have, um, the next season is starting in September. We're expecting the same, over 100 kids. And uh, we'll see, in 10 years, you're gonna have a bunch of kids that grew up in the Boys and Girls Club right here in Rosarito. So it's very, very exciting. Well, thank you both for changing everything in Rosarito for the better.